Oh. Amazing. I'm shook. I need to figure out if I can master the between. <laughs> so this time I'm going to try and be flirty. See how that works. Um, wish me luck. Let's get that money off, okay? okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nina Abdul, a consumer lifestyle presenter, and this is what I can do. The show I really recommend watching is RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. It's the Australasian iteration and it is amazing. It's a competition show, it has incredible outfits, it has really funny challenges and you have to watch this. Gotta have the right qualification. We're the cons. I mean, it's really easy viewing, it's fun embracing another world, embracing another culture as well. It's quite amazing how much glamour they've injected into the UK. So for that alone, I would recommend watching. The lamb is cooked really well. Honestly, cut through it like butter. The wedges were so good. They were really crispy, really light and fluffy on the inside. The seafood was so bland. It was just like a fishy mess. It was just like drinking or eating fish stock. I did not get any coconut from this rice. It was oily, there wasn't really any coconut, um, which really let the dish down. The dew was amazing. It was punchy, it was flavorful, it was rich. It elevated the entire dish, really special. It had chunks of banana within the sponge. It tasted really good, especially with the salted caramel sauce, which I could have drunk a battle. Not sure what to get your kids this Christmas? Fear not, because Sunsavers have got you covered. I'm here at the Dream Toys event in London to show you this year's hottest toys. Not only are we going to do that, we are also going to show you the cheapest place to buy them. Let's go! First on the list is the Barbie Ultimate Kitchen from Mattel. It has over 20 pieces and you can make your own food. It even has a working oven. It includes five pots of dough so kids can make their own culinary creations. <laughs> Halloween is just around the corner, so I'm on the hunt with some savers to find some brilliant bargains. From costumes to decorations, we've got you covered. But if I'm going to be looking for spooky savings, I think I need to look the part. That's better. Now let's see what we can find. We've all heard the rumours that pet staff give away free items to their customers every day. I've never been one of those customers, but today I will be. I'm going to try a number of ways to try and snag a free coffee or cake from Pratt. Uh, wish me luck. So being straightforward didn't work, so this time I'm going to try and be flirty. See how that works. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> I tried all my best moves and flirting did not work, um, but I have a cappuccino, so maybe that can soothe my dented ego. Airline is really harsh, so I have some work to do there. I am very worried because these tongs only have two settings, on and off. So I don't know how hot this is going to be. This hair could melt. There was a little bit of smoke. There was a little bit of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mew, and today myself and some other Brits are going to try to pronounce American town names. This doesn't sound like, <laughs> like a real place. Schneckadee, Schneckadee, New York. It's the last day of Eat Out to Hal Pal. I've been really cramming them in and I'm in the mood for fried chicken and waffles. So I'm heading to Dirty Bones in Soho to get some cocktails, chicken, waffles, crispy lamb fries and loads more. Let's go. We're waiting until 3 o'clock so we can get drinks in the happy hour. I'm a guy who loves a bargain, so no judgment, okay? We're gonna get, um, I think I'm gonna get like three drinks because they're £5 each, so watch the space. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 
Mmm. Mm. That's really good. So we finished our mains and we were deciding whether to get more drinks or dessert and we've got plenty of drinks. I think we're going to try and get a dessert somewhere else, I don't know where, but make the most of eat out to help out. Let's get that money off, okay? <laughs> if you want to know more, get in touch. Bye!